We're here at the Martin Luther King Jr. Monument here in Washington, D.C. And we're just going to look at how this memorial looks like. Um, they've dedicated a space for him here at the National Mall in Washington, D.C. So we're going to check it out. Uh, he was one of the black civil rights leaders here in the United States. And he did a good job in terms of non-violent kind of um, trying to fight for rights and justice and that's the shop there but when you come to the memorial this is how it looks like five score years ago a great american in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the emancipation proclamation this momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. 100 years later, the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. 100 years later, the Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty. I have a dream. That one day, this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day, Sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama, with its vicious racist, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. And every hill and mountain shall be made low, the rough places will be made plain, and the crooked places will be made straight, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, here at the Martin Luther King Jr. Monument here in Washington, D.C. and it's called the Stone of Hope. Very beautiful band, very nicely sculpted and it's here on Think Museums. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications. Think Museums every time. Sweet land of liberty of the Arsene.